Konnichiwa! It's Stella from Apple University, and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Gunchi, the art of strategy from Grand Blue Games. Let the battle begin! Invade your opponent's fort or capture their leader, the Shogun. Charge ahead! The game plays two players, with mechanics such as action cue, hidden rolls, and grid movement. The game is of medium complexity. In Gungchi, the art of strategy, you need to invade your opponent's defensive area with three of your pieces, or capture their hidden leader, the Shogun, to win. You use your cards to program your future moves to dictate the actions of your units. In this video, I'm going to cover the basic variants of the game. At the start of the game, you choose what army pieces you want to start with. Then you choose secretly which one of the unit pieces is your hidden leader, pick three cards to start your hands with, and arrange the other four cards as face down deck in whatever order you want. On your turn, after the initial turn assigning the cards for your next actions, you resolve only the leftmost card, usually to move and attack, shoot with your archer, recruit more units, build more fence, or rotate your units. You can destroy most of your opponent's units by moving onto it or shooting it. You then slide all of your program cards to the left and program more cards, up to four. You can spend logistic points, which is the currency of the game, to program two cards in the leftmost space, giving you two moves next turn, then gain logistic points based on how many columns of cards you fill, put the used card in the bottom of your deck, draw back to three cards, then turn goes to the next player. When your third unit reaches your opponent's defensive area, or when you destroy your opponent's unit that turns out to be the leader, you crush your opponent, they're scattered, afraid of your power, so you win the game. Sounds simple, right? The rule is, but strategy, well, a little bit tricky. You have to plan your moves a few steps ahead and changing your strategy depending on what your opponent is doing. Each piece moves and attacks differently. Like this archer can shoot this area, your infantry can only move and attack one space away, but they have two lives, and the cavalry can leap over your other units and move forward however many spaces you want. And you can even combo a few of your units with one chain command, moving matching adjacent units together as one, making a very efficient move. Oh, there's also that fog of war element. When you program your cards, you alternatively place them up or down, so the action sequence is only part revealed. Timing is very important, and spending a bit of logistic points to program two cards for one turn could worth doing, especially if you time it right. You gotta also watch what the opponent is doing closely. Like when I played, parent my opponent moved one particular unit away when my units were approaching. Seems suspicious, hmm. And yes, that turned out to be his leader. But that could have been a bait too, so I'll get attacked when I came closer. A lot can happen really in this game, and with the advanced rules included in the new edition, there will even more tricks that you can do to try to be the victor of this tactical game. So, if you like chess games or two-player battle type games, then this one might be for you. So thanks for watching folks, at the time of filming, Gunshi The Art of Strategy is about to be launched on Kickstarter, so I'll put the link in the description when it is live. We also have the how to play video on the Dice Tower for the game, so I'll link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype or from the first edition of the game, so rules and artwork are not final. If you have any questions for me, please write in the comment sections below. You would help us by subscribing to Maple University and hit the bell so you won't miss anything from us. I also share my board games journey on Instagram, so hopefully I'll see you there too. Until next time!